Welcome to Kitchen Table Reviews. My name's James and this is more of a discussion video. Um, it's not a review per se or how to set anything up, but I was going through the Ubiquity forums earlier today trying to figure out a problem with something I was trying to set up. And I stumbled across, across a post that was uploaded two months ago by Ubiquity themselves. Um, it's titled Introducing the Unify Next Gen Gateway product line starting with the UXG Pro. I'll post the link to the forum in the notes below the video, um, but I hadn't seen this anywhere else, so I thought I would highlight it um, to anybody who was thinking whether they should wait for um, these products to come out or looking at the Unify Dream Machine Pro or the Unify Dream Machine. Um, it's the first device in the new USG lineup um, and I think they're targeting it at replacing the four port um, gateway that we had previously um, or the security gateway Pro 4. Um, if I jump onto the screen I'll just show you what this thing looks like um, but coming down to the bottom it's got the same aesthetic to the Gen 2 switches um, obviously you've got your WAN and LAN ports in both RJ45 and SFP on the front along with that new little touch screen but what's interesting is if you look at the back so this device obviously will connect to redundant power um, one of the new products coming out in the Unify product line but it's also got this power input on the right hand side and then this little smart device plug on the side now this will be similar to the smart power output plug that Unify have brought out um, and I imagine though it's not really been confirmed that the functionality of this will be if your internet connection goes down um, it will restart your cable modem so a nice little touch that's integrated into it as well I imagine if you don't have a UPS it is a way of ensuring that your power stays active to your modem that's connected to your internet provider. Specs wise it's got the same processor as the Unified Dream Machine Pro so I imagine the throughputs of what it can do will be the same so well in, well in an excess of a gig. Um, it's got half the amount of RAM but it is DDR4 RAM so 2 gigs. The Unified Dream Machine has got 4 gigs. But the real standout feature that's a bit different is the fact that it doesn't have a controller. So if you are one of these people, and I'm certainly one of them, who's feeling the pain or not wanting to upgrade because, or go to the Unified Dream Machine Pro because there's been reviews with glitches um, with Unify OS, um, this could be a really good option for you. Now it says it's due to be released on the um, early, early, early release part of the store, which is sort of like Unify's beta testing that you have to sign up for. Um, it's two months later, it still hasn't come out, so I don't know when this product would be released. But if you remotely manage all of your devices, so you've got a cloud Unify controller, this fits in really, really nicely. So I just thought I'd bring it up and highlight it because it's, it's not been sort of anywhere else that I've noticed. Um, hopefully YouTube is a little bit more mainstream. But apart from that, I'm quite looking forward to, forward to getting my hands on it. Um, hopefully if the throughput's there and it's, as I said, got that smart functionality to power cycle your modem if it loses connection to the internet, um, there's a lot of things to look forward to. So this particular post is just canvassing from the community some additional feedback on potential new products. Surprise, surprise, going through this, one of the top requested items is being able to assign multiple WAN IPs to your internal devices inside. At the moment, it's limited to just having one WAN IP. But yeah, um, thought I'd share it and put your comments or discussions in the comment section below. So if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, same usual palaver, but it does really help the channel. Um, gives me a bit of an incentive to produce more videos. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.